Welcome to Sculpture Studios. Creating something rather quirky for a particular South Korean car manufacturer. All over the world you'll hear the name pronounced differently. Myself here in the UK, I've always said Hyundai, and in the US it's often simplified to Hyundai or Hyundai, depending on your accent. Now though, frankly, the South Koreans have said enough is enough. There's a commercial circulating, where they've said we're going to put a stop to this and we're going to clarify once and for all so that everyone is on the same page. The mispronunciation of the brand has no doubt led to some comical results on maps and search engines, and that's the theme of the commercial and where today's sculpture comes in. Entitled Iron Guy, we're going to be creating a six and a half foot figure on a concrete plinth. A sculpture that's appearing for a humorously short amount of time in the commercial. I mean seriously, we're talking a solid second and a half here. But hey, that's television. We've been sent a few concept images from our client, Oliver Hogan, about what the general feel of the sculpture should be. This is designed to look as though it's a stylized piece of public art or a sculpture that sits outside the front of a company building that a map app might direct you to. This is going to be used for just a few hours on location for the shoot, so we're going to be carving this from polystyrene with a special application of our secretly sourced sticky back tinfoil. You're welcome. The bulk shape was initially cut right at the start using hot wires, and Aiden's now working down to finer and finer tools, nail brushes, wire brushes, and eventually stonemason rifflers here, to create something in keeping with the style of the concept images. The client has asked for this to look as though it's on a solid concrete plinth. To keep all three of the cost, the time and certainly the weight down, this is also being created from polystyrene, but rather than our foil, we're going over this with a light render of a water-based concrete mix. This is being troweled on smooth to be artworked up once the lettering on the front has been carved and the concrete completely set. Inside we have a female tube already installed, and a female tube up through the bottom of the figure. This is so both the base and the sculpture can break down for transportation, and can simply be positioned and fitted on site with a male rod running up through the centre. We've been sent a graphic for the text on the front of the plinth. We're going to be carving this into the surface just to provide a little bit of depth, but the main thing is that for the second and a half that this is going to be on screen, it's easily legible at a quick glance. This is an old-fashioned uh, theatrical technique. You give it a, a grey wash of the whole lot and rub it back so there's little strata lines happening within it. And that gives it a nice little concrete feel. But on top of that, I'm splashing it with black and now I'm splashing it with the white to, give it, uh, to brighten it up all over. Um, but I'm quite conscious of making some strike streaks on it and I don't, really don't want to do that. So I'm splashing it out on the floor first and then, then hitting it with the blobs. And it's a watered down emulsion, so I can go over it and just highlight it as much as I please. Step back and make sure it looks nice. But yeah, something I learned in the theatre a long time ago. It's really effective and uh, it's really quick at the same time. So 
You don't need flash air guns and spray equipment. It's just a brush and some water and paint. So, really good. Here, before a final decision is made on the eventual finish of the sculpture, we've gone over with some round-headed pins to create a sort of rivet effect. This is just to provide Oliver with food for thought and another option, and after sending over the images, he's opted to try and aim for the original references as closely as possible. We're going to be punching up the detail a little more later using the airbrush, as this sculpture is going to be seen by the camera from around 15 feet away. Oh, will you look at that? Sticky back tinfoil, glorious. As well as darkening the deeper spots on the carving, we've also taken that polished metallic shine out of the foil. Instead, we're favouring a duller, more iron sheet effect. Assuming that this isn't going to be filmed out in the torrential rain, this should be suitable for a few hours outside for the shoot. It's always enjoyable seeing something you've made being used for its intended purpose, but on many occasions, we've actually seen some of our sculptures popping up again and being used for other events. Some are rehomed, some are rethemed, but with something this stylized and very specific to the advert campaign message, I'm not sure how much extra use the Iron Guy is going to get out there. Before we take a look at the commercial, we'd first like to thank our client, Oliver Hogan, for approaching us with the project, and whether you guys have called them Hyundai or Hyundai or any other variation before now, not only do you have the confirmed pronunciation coming up next, but we'd also like to thank the company themselves for creating an opportunity like this for us. It's very much appreciated. Take a look at the commercial coming up, and don't blink, you may very well miss him. Search. Hi and I. You have arrived at your destination. Hi and I. If you think you know our cars and how to say our name, maybe it's time to think again. Hi and I, not Highland I. Oh, it's Hyundai, by the way. Hyundai. Search Hyundai. It's the dawn of a new Hyundai. Please feel free to leave any comments below, as they're always appreciated, and hit the subscribe button and the notification bell for our latest videos. You can follow us on Facebook and Instagram via the links below, and for all of our true diehard fans out there, you can now become a patron of our studio. All of our support contributions go towards the creation of these videos, so if you enjoy our content, you know what to do. Becoming one of our credited patrons means you'll be featured at the end of our upcoming YouTube projects like these guys here, so visit the Patreon link with this video to show your support. However big or small, it's greatly appreciated from all of us here at Sculpture Studios. Thank you very much for watching.